Okay, before I start, like, playing the intro and shit, um, I have some things that I need to tell you. I, um, posted a poll on Twitter yesterday, um, asking who had the best tantrum, Megan or Nikki Graham, while they're, while they're in the house, and 70% of you said Nikki Graham, and 30% said Megan. So, um, congratulations, Nikki Graham. You are the all-time tantrum winner. Okay, let's get started. Hi, it's me, Leo, Cur Leo Currently. Okay, let's get started with Live from the House. The shopping cast is over. Scotty T and Nancy are talking about um, Megan's rant at John in the bedroom. Um, Megan and Christine are talking about Megan's crush on Scotty T in the bathroom. And then um, I'm hearing that Tiffany is taking Gemma's advice after she was... After she fought Gemma and said that the shoes were matronly and shit. Megan needs to drink. This is right after she left the diary room. A little bit after she left the diary room. Megan and Stephanie go into the toilet off the living room and apparently it smells like shit. Housemate's favorite game is now name dropping. First David did it and then now Darren. So name dropping is the name of the game in this house now. The house has run out of alcohol again. And this is, this is pretty smart. So in the Celebrity Big Brother house, you run water while you're in the toilet with another housemate, so Big, Bev, Big Brother and the public don't hear what's going on in the bathroom and what you guys talk about. Megan is crying and ranting over the lack of alcohol and wants a glass of wine because apparently she's on a gluten-free diet. She says gluten-free, but I mean, hello, it's fucking gluten-free. Gemma calms down Megan. She want like, Megan wanted a wheat-free lager, so I'm thinking she's on a gluten-free diet. Hell, that is why she needs anger management, is because she's on a gluten-free diet. Angry, Megan's still angry. The storeroom is, on, is still locked. Megan finally gets some pizza from Big Brother because, and I don't think this is gluten-free pizza either, so. I don't think she's, I think the gluten-free is just on alcohol. <laughs> so, yeah. Because um, Big Brother gave some pizza to uh, the housemates while Ma while Stephanie was in the diary room and or while Megan was in the diary room. I was get hoping that this was a dry night, but it didn't turn out to be a dry night. The storeroom finally gets unlocked. The younger housemates and Tiffany treat this batch of alcohol as this if they found out that the apocalypse was was not going to happen after handling it all the for like a month that was going to happen and they're just partying. Nancy is, I'm guessing Nancy is trying to get along with at least Scotty T. And I want to know if, how drunk Nancy can get if all she ate was so far was candy during the day. Christina's two most shocking things that happened during the day were all around Tiffany. Tiffany fancies Darren and Tiffany wanted to shag Jeremy. Nancy didn't let David speak about his time in the jungle, which kind of was mean towards David. Christina thought it would have been the hot. Christina would have thought that Nancy interrupting David while David was talking about I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, would have been in the highlights reel, but it wasn't. Megan suggests Nancy to do whatever she wants because of John, because John's being, uh, his alpha male status has become way too controlling and his and now the, all the housemates are going to turn on him tonight on the highlights that's all I'm going to say Nancy thinks that Tiffany is playing a game Tiffany wants to manage Stephanie's career in America Stephanie thinks she's getting booed on eviction on her when she gets evicted she's afraid that she's going to get booed T Tiffany reassures, her, reassures Stephanie that she wouldn't I did not know that Tiffany is now just executive producing TV shows in the U.S., I guess. Tiffany sees potential in, in Stephanie when she goes to America. 
Megan's still hungry, so she heats up some lentil soup that was left over. Apparently it's gluten-free. I don't know. Megan is finally happy that she's getting real food. Megan talks about her dog with Nancy. And Darren corrects Scotty T's career. Core relates Scotty T's career to being a porn star. Highlights. Tiffany does not want to be a puppet anymore for the test. She did it. She did it on the first day of the test because the housemate, she would thought, because she heard that the housemates were afraid of her and they were questioning her energy in the house. Megan is fantasizing about food after her food rant in last night's highlight, in the highlights before. J Jenna and Daniela want Tiffany to flirt with Jeremy, but Tiffany's not going to do it. Daniela is not feeling well and is out of the end of the shopping tent the shopping task for the day, and she's sleeping in the snug. She's She was sleeping in the snug all day. This is the who said what task. Housemates listen to quotes of puppet masters. Oh, to quotes puppet masters. Guess who said what about who? Something about sexually attracted to him. It was about Jeremy. Tiffany about Jeremy, but housemate, the puppet masters guessed it was Megan about Scotty T, which was wrong. Tiffany felt that she was put on the spot, and Tiffany was embarrassed that it was released. I want my shoes back. It was definitely jumping to Tiffany. And this is where the where the shoes rear its ugly head. Tiffany was going to give them back, but... And then Tiffany said her piece. Apparently, one of the stones on the shoes... One of, some of the stones on the shoes are actually missing when she got them. Angie... While this fight happened, Angie, Christina, and Nancy run to the bathroom, and they are sick and tired of Tiffany's airtime. <laughs> Tiffany doesn't need Gemma's shoes. I call Gemma a crazy bitch. Gemma got her shoes back. So, yeah, that's why I call this episode how Gemma got her shoes back. Because, hello. I can do, like, three episodes... I can do three videos just all on Megan's tantrums. But, hello. The the main character of this, of this episode was definitely Gemma's shoes. Come on. Stephanie... There was some quote uh, that Jeremy said about Stephanie that is ang that made her angry at Big Brother because of the districts because it just because she her boy because she can tell that her boyfriend is going to be disrespected when he sees this. So, yeah, Tiffany then goes into the diary room. Tiffany doesn't want the housemates to turn against her. Tiffany wants Gemma to be evicted tonight. She wants to tell Gemma that she's a fat cunt and she the shoes were old maiden type of shoes and she shouldn't have bought them in the first place. Thanks, Gemma is a disgrace to humanity and women who are beautiful. Jeremy and Stephanie discuss about their friendship. They just say they're Stephanie's saying it's innocent, but the public thinks it's more, apparently. Final part of the task. Gemma does not want to do the task. She she's angry. She's done with playing games. She's, she compares living the house like working 24-7. Something like that. It was hilarious. Big Brother lets the housemates know that the, the housemates actually did fail the shopping task because they broke rules. But Big Brother is get either, giving either puppets or puppet masters the luxury shopping. Whoever pushes the button first will win the luxury shopping for their team. If nobody pushes, then Scotty, then nobody gets luxury. Scotty T from the puppets team pushed first. Gemma also pushed first for the puppet masters. Scotty T was faster. Gemma is pissed. Housemates were only given beer in the first round of alcohol. David is having an interview with an imaginary Rylan in the garden. That was funny. Because he's like, I'll give you my hair if you give me yours. You know Rylan's not going to give, give uh, a fucking David guest his hair. Scotty want, wanted a can, but so did Megan, but s apparently Megan was on a gluten-free diet, except that I saw her eat pizza, so she just doesn't want wheat-filled beer. She wanted the can of vodka. She wanted two cans, but Scotty wanted, like, five cans. It sounded like. Stephanie is still pissed at Big Brother. Feels annihilated. She thanks Big Brother for ruining her relationship with Sam Reese. <laughs> In the bedroom, housemates talk about house cleanliness. Meg Megan gets angry because she was like, I clean up after everybody! And then John's like, you don't clean up after me. She does clean up after you, John. I think. And she wanted Stephanie to clean up after herself, apparently. Megan talks about when John told the housemates about everybody slagging off Tiffany. And Megan 
try almost got into Tiffany's face. But Megan was standing up for Tiffany, technically. It's just she... But then Tiffany was, like, not hearing... Didn't want to hear it or something like that. I don't know. They were all laying in bed anyways. <laughs> Stephanie is still in the diary room. But they want to kick out Steph. They need to kick out Stephanie out of the diary room because Big Brother needs the diary room to calm down Megan. And then Stephanie like is like, "Oh, of course you're gonna need the diary room for somebody else because I'm not important enough." Megan is now angry at John because John is playing a game. Jim is now telling Darren to not be pushed down by John in the garden. Megan towards Tiffany on the way to the garden, all the way to the diary room says. Lick the shit out of John's asshole. That is the quote of the night. I should have, if I had time. Well, if I was like more productive today, I would have found the. I would. I wanted to get that clip and then put it in the video. But I'll just say the quote. Megan is sick and is sick of John's John being fake and lying all the time. Jim and Darren discuss about Megan's rants. And Jim does not want Darren to be a pussy slash pushover. Seriously, they, Gemma and Darren discuss about it because they're like, oh my god, Megan is right. Like, Megan, even though Megan's, like, mentally unstable right now, she's actually right at what she's saying. <laughs> she's actually right about what she's saying. Megan, okay, this is how they fucking end the highlights. Megan is still in the diary room. Megan wants to leave the diary room. She knocks, she tries to knock down a camera. And then Big Brother calls in security to come into the diary room to calm down Megan. I thought Megan was out of the house, but after I saw the highlights, oh, she's back in the house. So let's get to bit on the side. The loose women are on the panel. Yes. The housemates aren't really going to listen to Megan's problems, but they're going to listen to what Megan said about John, definitely. I'm waiting for the housemates to turn on John. Definitely. Denise Welch had the funniest quote on bots. She said, what did Megan do before sex on the beach? Like, really, what did she do? Some exclusives. David is now playing Cupid between Stephanie and Jeremy. Megan received a formal warning from the previous night's highlights. Which I personally don't think that she should have gotten a warning. Because... Big Brother should have talked to John and Tiffany also about the issues. Because Tiffany wasn't listening to Megan and John... I wish Big Brother would tell John that he was being a complete dick. And, well, not just a complete dick. That he, he that the public think, th like, what really the public is thinking of him now, like, showing some bots footage and shit. And then Gemma realizes... Gemma... Gemma, then in another exclusive, is talking about how John is trying to play the housemates. So, at this point, we know John might be going down after the eviction. Um, I'm thinking either Nancy, maybe... I'm hoping that Nancy gets evicted, but it's probably going to be, sadly, either Stephanie or Angie. And it's going to be, like, if it's Angie, it's going to be a definite mercy eviction. So that's all I have for now. I'll see you later because I'm going to be doing, I'll be doing two, I'll be doing Live from the House from tonight, tonight's eviction. Wait, last night's Live from the House, which is based off of the highlights that we'll show before tonight's eviction, tonight's bots, and tonight's Live from the House. So see ya.